major 3A race. The fast qualifier, Rio Lopez of Rogue River, a junior, 60.34. Tracy Salgado won this last year from St. Mary's, a senior, at 60 and 67. Andrew Perry of Oak Ridge ran a 155 back in 19, uh, back in 2005. That's the meet record. Dakota Step of Horizon Dakota Christian gets the lead. Ooh, almost a stumble. Oh, man, almost a fall on the outside there. Lucas Stiffarm of Gable there. Well, he's now at Ketlin. He's now in third. And that's Sage Stipe of Nyssa running in second. So it's Dakota Step and Sage Stipe. Step and Stipe. And then Rio Lopez of Rogue River in the green. So Stip and Stipe and Lopez. And Lopez wants second, and he gets it. So Dakota Step for Horizon Christian. And Rio Lopez of Rogue River. Sage Stipe is right there, and the white singlet is Bryce Parsons of St. Mary's, and he looks like he's got a shot at winning this thing. Bryce Parsons of St. Mary's there in third. Dakota Step attacks, but is it too soon? They got a ways to run yet. Real Lopez in, in second, but Parsons looking like he's going to come by, and here comes the mystery man on the outside. But it's going to be Dakota Step. Dakota Step and a battle for second. And a big rush on the outside for Tyrus Turner's plenty of Lapine for and second. And Stiff Arm was in there too. Stiff Arm, he hit Stiff Arm, got second. Oh my goodness. From Catlin Gable. Gonna give you a quick two-way men's update. Nestucca is leading Central in by a half point, and Eastland Christian by one and a half, but Nestucca only has one athlete left that we know of in the hurdles. So Central in and Eastland Christian getting set for that showdown in two-way. Let's get ready now to go down and talk to our winner with Dan O'Brien. All right, guys, I'm here with another winner, Boys 800. Dakota Step, that's the tough way to win. Leading it start to finish, take us through that race. Uh, I just knew that Rio was going to be on my back, so didn't want to give him the chance to get ahead. I mean, especially on that last 300 stretch, and he, really good competitors all around. I want to know, you know, the, you, the crowd is so big here. Can you hear them in that last 100 meters? Oh, yes, they helped me a lot, <laughs> give me a lot of energy. I mean, my, it's all my supporters, my friends, family, coaches, God. I'm just really thankful that they all came. There wasn't a finish line tape for you to break, so take us through that little, uh, take us through that little routine on your finish. <laughs> uh, this is my first year in track, so I just saw people always thing. I don't know, I just wanted to break two, and I guess I got it, I got lucky. Well, let me tell you, when there's nobody next to you, you don't have to do that. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Congratulations. Right, thank you. I would say he might be a natural <laughs> if that's his first year. Yeah, it's great to see somebody discover this sport.